everyone. This is your instructor Joy. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and sending me your nice comments and questions and sending a donations. I really appreciate. Today I will be answering a subscriber's question. Uh, this family is working on a shradic um, exercise book that's spelled S-C-H-R-A-D-I-E-C-K, Shiratic. Some of you uh, might be familiar with that. It's a nice finger exercise. Um, and uh, this fan is wondering how to increase the speed. I'm thinking, this fan is probably thinking about the, the tempo, metronome tempo that we have to we have to uh, gradually increase. So, um, first one sounds like this. So you go on. Yeah. So that's the first exercise. So as you can see, there's multiple notes in one bow, and that sabaha looks nothing but this. Like, woo, what is this? So when you see this kind of thing, um, don't try to play as it's written first, but just break down. So play separate bow. Usual bow. As you can see, the goal is for you to have a fast fingering. So here, in order to have fast moving fingering, you have to understand the movement cannot be too heavy. It has to be a rather elastic movement. Very light fingertip and little elastic movement. And the finger uh, at four beginner values, the instructors, including myself, asked put all the fingers down. So in this case, um, keep it close, but don't forcefully keep all the down. Even if you lift up a little, it's not a bad idea. Yeah? But just keep it very light fingertip, even when it's on the string. And the fingertip should be lined as a string, not forcefully like this, but your arm comes from here, so your left hand position should be like this. Can you see my left hand position? This should be your ideal hand position, like this. Yeah, make sure you have about two finger room between the neck and your violin. If you're holding your violin like this, your hand is too tense, you're not going to be able to move your fingers fast enough. So this, there should be a little room, I would say maybe a, a one or two fingers gap between here, between your violin and your left hand, yeah? So, and then try not to squeeze your index finger too much, all fingers should be not touching anything firmly. You can touch lightly, like feather light, like that. And then you do first a separate bow, and the metronome number, metronome is, you can just get an app on your phone, so download a free metronome. There are numbers. So I would suggest maybe start with a 40, 40, like this. And then first you do separate bow, two slurred, four slurred, eight slurred, um, then 16 slurred. So your bow speed would stay same until when you do uh, when you do like um, four groups of sixteenth notes, so you would first do use the whole bow, to put two notes with the same bow speed. So two notes slur. Divide the bow to the half. For the first one, second one. Each bow gets equal length, like this. Alright, 
when you've done this for enough time, then move on to the next one. This time, we're going to try to put four notes. So we have to divide one, two, three, four. That way, each note gets equal length of the bow. The bow speed stays the same. We're just adding more notes. until you think you're good with a metronome and um, then if you feel comfortable then you go to the eight yeah di di da da di da da you have it and move on next one now 16 notes in one bow one six faster now you're gonna slow down the bow speed twice so the notes are same speed as the 16 notes which was one before the bow speed slows down twice It's not a must. So um, take, do take this one as a guideline. But you feel like, let's say, you, you moved on from eight notes in one bow to sixteenth. Yeah, like this. But somehow you're not getting with a metronome well. Then just switch off metronome. It's better to play in a control than metronomically correct and chaotic. Do you understand what I mean? So then understand what you're doing. Do a little slow tempo. Analyze why it's not working. So am I using every quarter of the bow equally? Is my left fingertip light and elastic? Is sometimes your our second and third finger because that's the longest one they tend to over grip over heavy is it analyze it and then if you found it correct that one see if you can now play with a metronome should be relaxed no matter how fast how slow it is there's absolutely no point for a balance to forcefully play fast while injuring the muscle and actually the audience can hear this uh, nervous playing so try to rather get to the calm zone where you can have a, this relaxed muscle movement and then you can also enjoy a bit and gradually speed up the tempo only when your muscle is ready to do yeah and if you can't play it that fast today it's okay it's gonna come but sometimes it takes a little time yeah so I hope this video was helpful thank you for watching please subscribe hope to see you again